guys, today I am going to be showing you what to do after you've sealed your acrylic keychains. So I have some of these I sealed last night, quite a bit, selling them all tomorrow. But this is what they should look like after. I have quite a few here, but I'm going to be showing you what to do, like how you put on the jewelry, and then the bags that I use to sell them in. So we're going to go and start with that. Let's go. Okay, so first off, after your keychains are sealed, it should look like this, but I mentioned in my other video that whenever you seal them, you should keep the backing part on from whenever they shipped. So if you do do that, you can take them off right after. And the reason that you do this is so that if any of the sealant that you use, I use Bright Tone, drips off the sides and goes to the back this will protect the actual acrylic blank and so if there is any bright tone or whatever you use it'll be on this plastic backing instead of the keychain itself so i'm going to go ahead and do this with all of them okay so now that i am done taking the backing off of all of the blanks what I do for the jewelry part, I use this ring for this acrylic blank. It is a little bit thicker because this is a three inch blank. And then these are the connectors that I use. You wanna make sure that the connectors that you do use are strong so that they don't break whenever you are using the keychain. So that's what that looks like. The way I put it on is I have two tools I use. One of them has a thinner nose and then one of them I use to grab. That's the one I used to grab. And then this is the thinner nose I use to mold the connector part. I found these tools off of Amazon. You can also probably find them in Hobby Lobby. They work really well. And so for this acrylic blank, I do have to make these a little bit wider so that it goes through the hole. So just widening it up. And then what I do is I put it through the hole or, well, I don't use the tools though. I'll just put it in with my finger and then put the ring part on. And then I will use the tools and I will hold it with the grabber tool and then with the nose thinner nose tool on the right I will just mend the metal to close it up making sure that it's nice and straight looks a little crooked but Kevin is like making it harder than it has to be okay I got it now so that's what it looks like and I will also add something else to it like a little accessory I'm going to add this little connector part i can also put a tassel on there but just for now i'm going to add this connector part and that's what it looks like similar to this to the texas one for this blank i use a thinner ring because for the thicker ring i cannot fit the tassel so what i do is i'll put on the tassel or you can put it on after too and then I grab the connector, wherever the heck it is. Connector, 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 connector. Where's the connector, Kevin? Oh, it's under your butt. My guy. Then I put the ring on it, like that. And I'll have this, and I'll slide it on there. Then with the thick tool, I will hold it in place, secure it, and with this one, just move it in. Pretty easy. Make 
really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll do that with the rest of them. And Kevin will definitely help me and not try and grab materials and run away. So once I'm done putting jewelry onto the keychains, I use these little cute bags and they're easy to open and put them in. So what I do is I just open it, take the keychain and put it in. Then I will just kind of move it and make it look good. Then close it up and that is how I have them whenever I sell them. Just a nice cute little packaging, which I love. Thank you guys so much for watching how I package all my keychains. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And this is from my blog video where I go to Michael's. So if you want to check that out, it should be uploaded already by the time I upload this video. So have a good day. Bye.